Uh, Titans 0 2. They go, they, they, you know, they. <laughs> I'm a Giants fan. So we right. won. There, there, it's, I mean, it would have been thir- maybe 13, not something like that. Uh, up in the second half, Giants come back, fine, lose a tight game. Then they get blown out by the Bills. This was the number one seed last right, year. Right. Uh, what's going on with the Tennessee Titans? Uh, man, you know, we having a, 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 a tough start. Um, we done been part of teams where, you know, we started at 0 and 6 and yeah. came back and won 8 out of the last 10. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, you know, you have teams throughout the season, you know, they might lose two back to back, but right. it, it always looked bad when it starts off at the beginning yeah. because yeah. it's 0 and 2, no right. wins or whatever <laughs> like that. But, you know, we just, you know, we just trying to get it together, yeah. get the running game going together, and then just trying to find somebody in, in the passing game, one of the receivers tight end to step up and make plays so you can take some of the heat off of Henry. You know what I'm saying? When you don't got those guys on the outside that's going to make plays, everybody going to focus in on Henry, yeah. and it's going to be tough. And then when you get in a certain type of game, when you playing a team like Buffalo yeah, with behind. Josh Allen and those guys and they scoring, scoring, right. now we playing from behind. Yeah. We can't, can't sit run. there and keep can't handing the ball, the ball off to yeah. Henry because right. we – we losing. And that's what we're built for. Our mm-hmm. Tennessee is built for, you know, mm-hmm. tight games, run the ball, you know, Take keep it, it the big. possession. Right. Exactly. Right. Um, you're be in trouble. And there's no knock on Tannehill, mm-hmm. but, you know, what we've noticed is that, like, yeah, when we do need to throw the ball to get back in the mm-hmm. games, it's just it, that's not his forte. Right. So, like, yeah, we try to keep Henry mm-hmm. with the ball and, and try to be up mostly. Mm-hmm. But This was the question I wanted to ask you guys because who could talk about this better than you? A lot of people, Derrick Henry's 28 years old now, which is crazy. Dang, that's 28 that's already? That's old, right? Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I think he's 28 years old. Yeah. Yeah, people fly. saying that, that not that he's done, but Derrick Henry's not the dominant player that he's been over like the last three years or so. Yeah. What, you, what do you guys, is it just been two they, tough weeks, like you yeah. said last week down big? They just said that about Von Miller, too, and he came out the gate and he had what well, he's probably leading the league in sacks right yeah. now. Yeah. So, I mean, so but but obviously it's a long season. You yeah. People get so caught up with the stats. So, you know, at the beginning, like you said, yeah. it's 0-2. They're not winning. He's like, oh, he lost a step. Mm-hmm. They, they're they not looking at the fact that we lost, you know, some – we just lost t- Luan, the, the starting yeah. tackle. Yes. He went down. Um, we've been replacing other guys on the mm-hmm. offensive line, and we don't have A.J. Brown. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's a lot yeah. of factors that go into the fact that him not running the ball, but I honestly don't believe Derek has lost a step at all. I feel like once he gets on the right track and, you know, Ray will get those guys going, that he'll be, you know, Derek Henry of old, King Henry. A lot of fantasy owners would be happy to hear For that. For sure. Right. Me, me too. I don't like all that. <laughs> <laughs> guys tweeting players talking about fantasy, but yeah, that don't, don't make a lot of people happy. So nothing to panic about yet. Um, I, I got uh, t- two things that relate to, to each of you. Uh, first, Chris, uh, incredible honor, I, I would imagine. Mm. Uh, the uh, the Hall of Fame nominees come out, and your name is on that list. Mm. Class of 2023. That, yes, like, sir. Yes, sir. No that's matter better. what happens from here, man, just just that alone, man, that's got to be an incredible honor. But yeah, that's huge. W- what, what did you feel when you found out that I'm on that list, and, and what do you feel like your prospects are to actually uh, to, to, to make it? Oh, man, it was crazy. Like, for when I found out, like, you know, it ain't a certain thing. Like, don't nobody call you or nothing like that. Like, How I, do you find out? Shit, I don't know. Like, I was on, <laughs> yeah, I was on Twitter. I seen it on Twitter. Twitter or Instagram, <laughs> one or two, or whatever. But, you know, it's a big accomplishment. Like, just from coming from where I'm coming from, being a two-star guy, only one division, one offer. And, like, yeah. you know, shoot, I always knew I wanted to make it. But to go through, have a 10-year career and do all those things and then, just to be a nominee, like, you know, it's a blessing. So, you know, hopefully, you know, I can make it all the way through. We're going to see what happened or whatever like that. But it's definitely a blessing. Should you he will. make it? He will make it all the way through. I mean, I feel that way. Yeah. I know that there's there's criteria and they base it on certain things. Obviously, Super Bowl wins have a lot to do with it. Yeah. Um, you can't do that alone. Yeah. The best running back in the league. For, it, sure. for long, yeah. I mean, oh. when you start off your season with six consecutive straight thousand yard seasons, you have yeah. a 2,500, the most all purpose in one, 2,000 yards. I mean, when you look at Terrell Davis, um, he had a very short career, but it was a prosperous, and he did a, like it was. Yeah. He did good, but mm. what I'm saying is like if you look at his career and the yards amount, like there's no reason why CJ. Yeah. Do, do you guys feel in. like and and I, this is not like throwing shade at Frank Gore or someone like that, but do you feel like 
yeah, Terrell Davis. Th that guy was so good. He was so dominant. Yeah. But just because he didn't, maybe he didn't play for 17 years and, and put up numbers every single year for that long, that, that that's held against him. You were the best running back in the period. Like, right. Yeah, like, yes. You know and what I mean? Like, why are you not a Hall of Famer? You're a. <clears throat> no and he changed shade the game. against someone like Frank yeah, Moore, yeah. but like. He changed I, the game, too. Yeah. yeah. And so my, I don't know if he was ever the best running back in the league. Who, Frank? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. See, but. You know what so, I mean? yeah. no shade against him. No, no, no he's shade awesome. against him because, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, awful. Frank, that guy. Frank, that yeah, guy like, I like. Absolutely. Yeah, I love his game. Yeah, and absolutely. then, like, it's crazy because we, me and bro, we done had some talks, like, you know what I'm saying? We done had some talks about not just Frank, but just in general. Like, even you talk about AP, you talk right. about Frank, you talk about a lot of those guys, shade. you talk about Emmett. Yeah, yeah. You talk about um on uh, Shady McCoy. Like, if you play 13, 14 years and like I'm not just saying just playing just on the team, but if you on the yeah. team and you starting or having a dominant role yeah. and you just keep piling up numbers. I hear you. Even if you rush for three hundred yards that year, four hundred <laughs> right. yards yeah. this year, no, you up. keep piling up yeah, yeah. numbers. Right. Exactly. So at the end of the day, if you play 14, 15 yeah. years yeah, you and you keep over. piling up numbers, right. of course you're gonna go up down the 12, list. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, you're gonna exactly. have twelve, thirteen thousand yards, this and that. Right. Like when right. you put that on top of your wow. career. Right. So when you go back and look at like my career, I think I started six years. Then I went to the Jets. You know what I'm saying? I started a few games there. Then I went to um, Arizona. I started there for a year and just, you know, you know how it goes once you get older. You know what yeah, I'm saying? They, they look for a young guy, so they try to replace you. So, like, just like a lot of my numbers is from my first six years. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm right under 10,000 yards, and that's all within only starting right. six years. So when it kind of those guys with all those – Stats and that stuff, you know what I'm saying? It builds up when right. you get an opportunity yeah. to start those years. You know what I'm Which, saying? Like, no, absolutely. I, it's something I've thought about. Yeah, like and, and I, I think it's not. It's not fair. Like, yeah, 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 but that's like, what you're yeah. saying about like Frank Gore, like yeah, yeah, yeah. respect, but he no played 16 years. Right. Yeah, he's played 16 he's years, years. Like, in, so of course right. he has 16. Yeah. Like, yards. like year after year, you Frank Gore get picked up by this person and this person, and he's starting out of nowhere. Like, even AP and all those guys. You know what I'm saying? If you gave like a. GMs or whatever fans, you said, hey, who do you you take Chris at his best or you take Yeah, something like that. Like if I best. I feel like if I started those an extra four years, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And if Yo, and even if I would have five hundred yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand yeah. yards, yeah, like but automatic. automatic. See, and then I could I could have even played like how those guys played those extra yeah. years. I could have still played those years, yeah. but to myself, like I knew like yeah. even even after the, my last year, my tenth, my tenth year, I still felt like to myself like I was gonna retire after that year right. because I know I wasn't willing to put in that type of work to sit on the bench right. and watch. Right. Like I'm gonna put in this work. Done it, collected a check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have done did that, but I knew yeah. I wasn't willing to put in that type right. of work not to be playing. Yeah. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? And like. Absolutely. It is what it is. <laughs> but, like, to all those guys, those guys are great guys. And you know what I'm saying? I oh, love yeah, their game. They dogs. They put yeah, in work. They dog, oh, they put in work. But. Right. That's a whole other thing, right? Yeah. To, to be able to last that long and actually right. to be able to carry the ball that long. That's it's all about our right? opportunities. Yeah. For sure. Especially in these days and yeah. ages with football, it ain't hard to – because – Probably like Frank and those guys, they probably weren't practicing that much. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. stay in shape, get ready, this and yeah. that. And we don't, they don't hit like that no yeah, more. Two of days, no nothing. <laughs> so it's, a, it's, it's a just opportunity. Game, like, right. at the end of the day, way it's by opportunity. Yeah. Like, if I had a offensive coordinator, a head coach like that was in different teams and they like, okay, yeah, you, you still want to play? I'm going <laughs> to bring you on. Exactly. Right. Come on. You right. know what I'm saying? I still could have been playing, right. but I wasn't willing to do that and not play. Right. You want to put in all that work. Yeah, yeah, not and play coming off the yeah, bench. I'm with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Linda, I, I want to ask you about Reggie. It's been talked about man, so much, especially here, man. In, in they this need city, to give right? it back. Yeah, for sure. like okay. Finally, it, it took too long, but Reggie's back with the the university, USC. Yes. He's back. Cool. Man, you have the kids now. The NIL deals making millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. Wow. Reggie still does not have his Heisman Trophy back though. Yeah, I mean it's despicable. It's really, you know, um, when you think about it, obviously we know we made it. We made a mistake back then, and he paid for it. Yeah. Like um, he he knows it. Yep. It was twenty years, right? 
And um, now it's time to just finally welcome it back. Yeah. It's been too long. Yeah. Everybody knows that. I mean, he was younger than us, but he watched it back then. He yeah. knew Reggie won the Heisman. Right. Everybody that won, like, everybody, know. everybody knows. Right. And Vince Young is my brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they say he don't even want it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Wow. So like, right. it's like, like yeah. So we're really, I mean, the NCAA mm -hmm. looks absolutely foolish yeah. doing this because it's like we all know. And I mean, I mean, I think I have personal beef with the NCAA yeah. because they're just the institution that's there for no reason. Right. But um, it's it's a mess. I think it's it's time. It's been time. Um, if they were to do that, I think that would even help mm -hmm. us at SC just because kids want to see that. They right. want to know oh, that yeah. Reggie won his Heisman, and they they want to go in Heritage Hall and see that stuff. So, um, I mean, if I can give any type of protest or tell them, I think it's been time. So hopefully they you come within their senses and make something right. Yeah, do Reggie even want it back? Do I mean, want I, I, don't, I, I, I haven't I, heard him come out no, and say anything about it. But I still like. He got a Wendy's commercial. Right, right, you know, right. Yeah, you seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to me, it's like it makes it yeah. only makes sense, right? Like, no. yeah. I, I don't have to say I want what's rightfully mine. Yeah. Like right. we know that we Here went did. through the yeah we went right. through this opportunity. Everybody set up on the count. Like they had their votes. We went right. through mm. it. They voted me. Exactly. And shit, regardless of what I was doing, and that it didn't make me. Right, it's not like he was cheating. Not like he's taking like a P. Right, right, that's what right. I'm saying. That's like, like, yeah. has nothing to do with what happened on the field. Right. Yeah, if it was PED, then I'd be like, yeah, you got to take that. Story. Like it's right, a performance it's enhancement. Exactly. Yeah. But taking money, like, man. come on, man. Especially like, now, when right when when it's, when it's, when it's, yeah. it's, it's the norm you know, now. I, you know, I'm I'm from the East Coast. I'm from Jersey. Like it, college football is not even big. Nobody even cares about college football. Like Rutgers, is, Rutgers is the best we got out there, right? Yeah, uh, Ken, my like boy Kenny Britt, man. You, you, Kenny Britt, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kenny Britt. <laughs> For sure. Um, that, I still remember that being a huge story as it was growing up. Like, that captivated the country. Like, whether right. you lived in a place that was that college football was even big, crazy. Yeah, it's um, time. Give yeah, it back. All right, well, hopefully that, that right happens. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think. What um, what do you guys think? You guys watch any of this stuff? Like, Le'Veon Bell, Adrian Peterson. Of just course. Just box each other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we talked about that in, in our podcast. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Like, on the Smash and Dad podcast. Like yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Cool, yeah. <laughs> It's and cool. listen, all you mo, hey, sorry, but all you, you carry, okay, yeah. but all you people that think it's just fun to get in that ring just because yeah. you was a football player no. running people yeah. over, AP is probably one of the meanest running backs of all time. Right. But he stepped in that ring, and when he got hit by LB, and his eyes went cross-eyed, man. <laughs> That just reminded me that listen, I'm gonna stay in my place. I'll never try it. Now, if they yeah. offer me some good money, I'll take a right. fall. Right. But I'm not yeah. going in there. And doing all that. Yeah, no, yeah, sir. Yeah. They yeah. gotta cut that shit. I out. give them a lot of credit, especially like you guys are famous. Like, yeah, it takes balls. No, in my life, it's just yeah. in the ring. No, right? I give them. I give them. Mm. I applaud. Yeah. AP, you my guy. He knows that. I, I've been knowing AP <laughs> since shit 2002. You know what I mean, sir? <laughs> yeah. I got nothing but love for him. But man, listen, you gotta put them dukes up, man. Yeah. You yeah, gotta you keep them dukes up. You up. gotta put them. They keep it. That's, that's a nice punch. Yeah, yeah. And, and, that was a nice Le'Veon, one. Le'Veon, you're not right because I've been seeing your workouts. I know you box in the off season, so yeah. that wasn't right, man. Right. Mm -hmm. I know. This, I see people. We were talking about it on the show, and people are like, yeah, "Adrian's gonna win. He's bigger, stronger." Nah. And I was like, "Nah, dude, yeah. Le'Veon has boxing experience for sure." Right. Um, let me ask you a speed thing real quick, Chris. I feel like I gotta ask a, a running question <laughs> before I let you get out of here. Uh, which one? What do we got? Go Tyreek Hill. Okay, how about this? Terrell Owens. Just, he just ran a four or five. Impress. Yes, for him to be I don't the age. At that age. Yeah, but I, 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 yeah, I don't know for sure about that time though. Because <laughs> so I, I don't know. They told me it was sub four or five. I timed it. I never got under four or five, but I was getting yeah. like four or five. One. Who was the guy was that? that but I'm ball saying, ball. who was the guy that was <laughs> running <laughs> next to him recording? Right. Who was right, that? Right. That camera guy. Well, I guess what we don't know is what the distance. That's is. what I'm what, saying. It could have been like 36 yards for all we know. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Him and the camera guy was neck to neck. Right. But like <laughs> so a fast saying, camera guy. Yeah, yeah fast so camera so guy. So I don't know, but like for him. To, but the crazy thing is, I just did a um. What is called popcorn? Grab your popcorn, up, grab your popcorn yeah. show with him oh, yesterday. Cool. Oh no way! Yeah, we'll sit there and we'll talk. Like yeah, yeah. Nah, we was just talking about it, whatever, man. But for him to be. The age that he is, and for him to still be that athletic and running how he running, in the size too, right? the size yeah. too yeah. like that's crazy. You know what sure. I'm saying? Yeah. That's goat, yeah. man. He's for real, to Tio is goat. He's about to raise Brandon Marshall. Oh, is he? Yeah, they. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tio's winning, right? I um, 
Could Brandon I, ever run a four or five? Oh, see, oh, I like Brandon, it. I'm see, not listen, to, hey, be <laughs> much. That's what I'm saying. You say that, but who knows if it's really a four or five? I don't know. Right, right. We don't know. I, but if listen, T.O. But, ran a four or five, I know I still run a four. I know low we, four three. Two K has four three. <laughs> low. Low four three. <laughs> if T.O. If if T.O. <laughs> ran that four or five legit. So I know for a bad guy. What you run. think B Marsh run then? B Marsh probably a 4-8. <laughs> oh man. So then T O yeah, probably got this easy I'm then. Four, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I think T O. I don't know if he ever ran a 4-5. Yeah, I yeah love, that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, yeah. B Marsh never four, been a speed eight. guy. He never been a speed guy. B Marsh probably was back when so, we, so he came eight, out here probably like four or five. He bet a hundred K that he was gonna beat T O though. Oof. I love it. That's why I love it. I can't uh, wait. Who, uh, in their primes, because I think people always want to put, put you two against each other. In their primes, you and Tyreek, who? Mm, well, 40, whatever you want to be. Okay. Whatever 40, it is. 40 me. yards, 100 meters, whatever you want. Me. What's, what's, what's even crazier about that question is Tyreek never broke the combine record. So, like, yeah. we would have to do this. It would have to be like John Ross. I don't think he went right. to John Ross. Right. 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 Unless we're saying Tyreek. But I don't think, I don't think Tyreek went to the combine. No, maybe just a pro day. Yeah, okay, pro day, but pro it day still though. was electronic. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but I know it wasn't a four two because that would have it would have been big. It would have been crazy news if he yeah, ran I'll a. See if I can yeah, yeah. Real quick. There's no way around Let's it. See, if you run four two, like the, that's just something that sticks with you forever. Right. We would that's know. Just, we would yeah, know that. Exactly. That was, yeah, we'll know that. I think it's like a. But now nah, he, he, that boy fast. He's fast. But I was just a different. I was different level. He's four. And I was two hundred pounds, man. These guys are one. Sixty one seven. Right. I don't know. Tyree, how much Tyree? Two hundred, man. Man, right. Cheetah ain't two hundred. John Cheetah Ross is literally one sixty five. Cheetah ain't two hundred. Cheetah might be two hundred. Nah, man. he a little pit bull. He five seven. That's what I'm trying to <laughs> tell you. That's what I'm telling bull. you. He look, he look swell, of course, cause he's so short and stocky. Yeah, he probably. Come on, like, man. They say four two nine on Tyree Kill, but I don't know where that. Where, where, how much does Tyree weigh? What do they say? They, what do they have him at? Tyree Kill two hundred. Mm. One ninety one. They have so, one ninety one. But that's still crazy. So okay. Though. So they had me at two hundred. What did I weigh? You was one ninety. So they got him at one ninety. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's 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 <laughs> yeah, he's like one eighty. He's like one eighty, maybe one seventy five. Then. Um, all right. Tell me about the podcast, guys. Man, it's it, uh, great show. Uh, Smash and dash anywhere uh, you get your podcast shows available. Talk to me about the kind of the guests you've been having on. Um, but you guys are killing it. You're yeah, yeah. Well, we we trying to do what it do. Uh, we ain't had a guest on yet. You know, we wanted to just let me and him start out shooting first, yeah. get the chemistry down, yeah, yeah. and just you know give them this type of vibe. Like before yeah. we start bringing people on yeah. and stuff like that. Like we want people just to watch. Because they know me and him right, is on. Right. I don't want yeah. to see you guys talk to each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Know what I'm I mean. saying? So, yeah, you know, we talk about sports. We talk about everyday life, like yeah. everything. Know what I'm saying? So, yeah. it's a lifestyle podcast. Yeah. yeah, who got the best drip? We talk about, you well, know, like. Not just football. Then. Yeah, if, right. you know, if you need pointers on how to pull a lady, um, yeah. you know, whatever you it may that. be. You know, yeah, we, you, we here for the, you know, for y'all. But, you know, the main <laughs> thing is. It's some stuff that, like, if you're sitting on the couch and you're talking to your friend about some stuff, that's mainly what it is. And it's yeah. not just about sports, although it's it's really sports driven because it's it's, it's kind of hard in in everyday society to scroll on Instagram or something yeah. and not see something about sports yeah. that's oh, you know yeah. topic worthy. So intertwine now. Exactly. Right. So yeah. man, yeah. I mean, it, and it's 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 nothing better than to do it with somebody that you consider a brother or a yeah. best friend. So this journey is it started off a long time ago. Um, in a sense with the smash and dash because that started in 2008 yeah. right yeah. but now us coming together with this it was only it was destiny and I'm, yeah. you know I'm glad that you know he picked me especially you know because he Hall of Fame yeah. I think yeah. he gonna I, I know he's gonna get it you know I believe just because you know when you look at the numbers body of work proves it like you say you in 10 years you right under 10,000 that's a thousand yards per season you you put in work you got the most what 80 yard runs ever mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying the, the most all purpose yards in yeah. one season which is the best one in the league. Yes, and that's, that was true. Like, I remember Madden. It, on Madden, on everybody wanted to right, play right. with him. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah. that speed. I remember. Speed yeah, I remember. Game. That's it what I'm Madden saying. Game. He changed the game. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, nobody, would, like he said the other day, uh, it's crazy because nobody was drafting 200-pound running backs. Right. When I was coming out, the big guy was better. You AP, right. 230. Marshawn Lynch, 220-something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Myself, 230. Like, you, they like big guys. Right. And then he comes right. as 200. Right. Reggie, he was 200, but he yeah. was sharing with Deuce McAllister, right. the big guy. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, when he came, changed. he changed the game. Yeah. 
And it was two hundred. He said something right there. Yeah, yeah, when they drafted Reggie, they he was coming in punt returner, yeah. right. help. They put him yeah, on like the team, or a right. tandem, yeah, not yeah, feature right. back. Yeah, yeah. Then after that, I think the first person when I knew it had changed is when they drafted C.J. Spiller twelfth overall. Oh yeah, and he That's was. A, that yeah, 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 yeah. They drafted him twelfth overall, and he was like the main guy. You know what I'm saying? CJ, right but now that we know CJ and we was at Clemson, looking at all his hype and knowing he was a five star coming out, like it only makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because but Reggie did, was the Yes. But they still drafted him to be a tandem with somebody. Because but they also knew. They knew that with him, with the because right. Deuce at that time, Deuce was still a dog. You can't right, right, right. and you can't pass up Reggie. And they got a Super Bowl out of that. So it was it was it was a smart it was yeah. a smart decision. But yeah. Houston and, played that year. They definitely Houston passed up on Reggie and, and Vince, Vince Young. Young. If you're Houston, I don't know how you don't take Vince Young just on just yeah. I, right, just because this right. is you, like, you Vince Young or Reggie. Fans. I mean, I love Reggie, yeah. but it's I'm talking about just like the overall factor of it. You draft a guy that just beat Reggie right, right. in the Rose Bowl. Yeah. You know he's bitter. Well, he probably mm-hmm. was pissed off because he didn't win the Heisman. Right. That's probably why. You know what I mean. But now he's number one overall to where he's from. I think that would have been huge for him. And right. and I, I think, think that might have been different for well. sure. Yeah. yeah right. Because when you, we all know the, the history with him, and I think they wanted Jay Cutler, yeah. or Matt Leinart yeah. over there. And I don't right. think they really wanted you know uh, Vince, but. We do know our owner wanted him, and that's why they drafted right, him. That's why they got him. Exactly. So, Bottom line, know. vote vote for this guy. Period. You know, all yes, uh, do the Titans make the playoffs? Yeah. yeah, I think we do. We do. We it's Easy. early. It's only it's week only, two. We got fifteen. Go we, we got, got fifteen, 15 more games. games. It's fifteen <laughs> right. more games. Right. Like, game now too. Yeah, fifteen, 15 and two. That be like you can go fifteen and two after right. going zero and two. Right. And then they're on the bandwagon. Right. And they're like, oh, the Titans oh, yeah, are going to do it exactly. No. Yes, sir. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you for having us, Thank man. Thank you so much. Oh, tell, tell me real quick, Lenny, about the uh, you have the betting podcast too. Oh yeah, right? it's on um, oh, yeah. um, uh, Sports Picks. Um, it's just sportspicks.com. I'm giving like the top five um, college or NFL picks for the week. Um, it's my expertise, and in my expertise, I'm not really an expert. So, you know what no I'm football, saying? No yes, yeah, it's yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you know so, a little bit about football and uh, Smash and Dash is the podcast again. Yes. Anywhere you get your podcast, check it out.